start uh, begin the selectmen's meeting for this evening, June 5th, 2019. Uh, I'd like to begin by first thanking all of the people who took the time to attend the town meeting this past Monday night, the 200 or so people. It was a lovely evening. There was a Bruins playoff game, and uh, I thought it quite admirable that uh, so many people did come out and uh, participate in the meeting. So thank you very much to those people. Uh, first item on the agenda is public comments, and I know that we have some ladies this evening from Discover Clinton, and they want to come up and talk to us about the sidewalk sales and some other things, or mostly the sidewalk sales. Well, come up and tell us what you want to tell us. If you would just tell us your name and address and... Yes, hi, thank you. Uh, my name is Heather Cook, and I'm the owner of Matchstick Market and Three Match Creations Collaborative on 55 Sterling Street, but I'm speaking as a representative of Discover Clinton today. My name is Lauren Crossman. I live at 27 Dyke Drive in Clinton, um, and I represent my business, Revive Painting and Finishing, um, a division of DM Crossman and Son, and as a realtor at Realty Vision. Thank you. Okay. Um, we are actually very excited because Discover Clinton has had a bit of a grassroots revival where um, several entities began talking about what we can do to create overall change within our community, focusing on commerce but with a larger picture for overall community development in order to bring up commerce. Also, we believe that there are many underused resources in the town of Clinton that should be used, and we're excited to utilize that. We also would love to kind of see a more streamlined process of being a liaison between the community and the governing um, powers of the town because we find that somewhat difficult to, to navigate. So we are basically trying to figure out in what boundaries and what entity Discover Clinton is supposed to function as. We did a little bit of research into the background of Discover Clinton, and it was, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a lot of work, it's a bit of a sleuth detective work, but we discovered that Discover Clinton was founded as Uptown. And if I'm wrong on this, because I'm new to this area, please correct me, um, but we found that it was discovered, it was, it was Uptown to begin with. Uptown held its own 501c3, which was very beneficial, but unfortunately, the f annual filings were not done for several years yeah. and we lost the 501c3 status but discover clinton had been founded as an organized entity sort of like a brand underneath uptown to create events to um, engage the community so that was recognized as a town entity as we understand but we would very much like some direction on the official capacity to which discover clinton does operate um, obviously, this impacts things like when we have events, are we under the town's insurance? Uh, do we need to do some other stuff to kind of, when it comes to street closures, that kind of thing. We need to know how we operate and where to go. We have tried to revive, actually we're very excited about a revival of sidewalk sales. I guess it used to be a big thing a while ago. And um, so we've decided that we're going to try to do it this year on August 10th, as it was. And the vision is to close High Street from each corner. Church to Union Street. Church to Union Street. Without blocking the intersection of Church Street so that that can still pass through. And we did ask the police department if that was okay and we have been confirmed that that is fine and they were gonna put a, voluntary, uh, a volunteer detail on the scene. Um, we don't <coughs> know if there are further steps we need to do in order to get permission for that, but we would like to close that street we plan on opening up the street to vendors from not just High Street, but all around Clinton. We would like to provide a stage at the end of the street in which different entities can have live entertainment throughout the event. And the event is from 12 to 4, but the street closure would be from 11 on. And the entities that would be on the stage would be something like the dance studios, the karate studios, local artists, local musicians. We would love to see some selectmen come down and say a little, uh, a few words too. We would love to have a presence from you. Um, in fact, if you were there to open, that would be lovely too. Um, so we would, we would like to do that. Um, and we also have a lot of other things planned, like a touch <coughs> truck, um, different <coughs> landscaping. People could maybe bring in a truck. It's been very exciting, and we're really excited about it. But we, we obviously don't want to overstep our boundaries, and we're also fairly ignorant 
in some of the steps that we need to take to make sure it's legitimate, well protected, under insurance, and that everybody is on the same page. As we, we really are passionate in this new rebranding of Discover Clinton to have open communication through all entities, because we feel there's a big disconnect in many entities doing amazing things, but not working together. So we really just hope to bring everybody together on that. Um, and any direction that you could give us would be very good. And if you have any questions, we would be happy to answer them. Okay, any questions from members of the board? No questions, Mr. Chairman. I just have a, a, a statement. I think it's a great idea. I think any, anything you guys can do. I mean, it sounds like you're uh, doing a lot already. So, uh, I mean, anything that I can do. I mean, this is my last meeting. I won't be on the board after tonight. Um, but uh, anything I can do um, beyond that, I'm more than happy to. Um, I think it's a great idea. Anything that can bring more foot traffic into not only downtown Clinton, but Clinton and, and get the conversation going. Yeah. Um, but what we have to offer, I think it's I think it's a really good idea, and I think you guys should be commended for it. And I think uh, we're getting a lot board. of traction from new businesses yeah. and then businesses that are um, expanding um, what they have to offer, and they're really excited about coming. So yeah. I think we can fill up. I mean, I remember as a as a young kid, the sidewalk sales were always a big annual event, and they were, they were pretty big when I was like when I was a kid. So if we can bring that back, that'd be and you know new and improved too. I think it is great that you have a lot of good ideas with bands and that type of thing. I think is going to be really nice. Bring people from all ages, and I think that's what we need. Thank you. We're really passionate about about Clinton. I mean, it has access to three highways. It has yep. the dam. It has the Russian Icon Museum. It has a yep. walking distance of very beautiful cultural green space. Yep. And, I mean, it just really has so much to offer, and we really hope to utilize that. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot I, of benefits here. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, we are also working with Discover Clinton and Three Match. Um, to create a creative community incubator with Mass Cultural Council as well. And they're very excited about coming in and working with us on that too. So I really hope that this will be a really great kickoff for a new Discover Clinton and we want it to go smoothly. Do you have any advice on all of the details of what we need to do as far as street closure, insurance, that kind of thing? Obviously it would be very helpful if we had insurance from the town because we have a very limited budget. Right. And um, if we are a town entity, we feel like that would be really helpful right I think that would be to talk to the town administrator and town solicitor to appropriate steps yeah. but I, I don't think it's anything earth shattering that discover is a town agency is I there a way we can not. become it's not yeah. uh, that would like Mark said would be something that town administrator and town solicitor could give you some advice on they, they want to know how they could become a town affiliated organization and possibly be covered by the town's liability insurance for programs they run. Yeah, that's going to be a somewhat the way they have to have discussions about. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be a quick solution. Right. We yeah, we understand that. We ran into the problem recognizing that Uptown um, was dissolved and didn't function anymore, but Discover Clinton operated under it. So we when we went to figure out our bank account for how we're collecting money for this, you know, we kind of had a stop and kind of like a panic moment nobody but, um, knew that uptown had been dissolved yeah no one on the board knew that uptown was dissolved, i believe our, so our community right. economic director has, has brought that up in the past about discovery funds and those types of things so i'd be another person to yeah. talk with we have um we we have we have asked several times there just seems to be not a lot of clarity so we decided we would like to come straight to the top Okay. and ask the okay. top <laughs> so right. if if there is a way that that those answers could be found we would be really grateful it's been addressed to refile uh two years ago but it seems like that it would cost more to refile as a 501c because mm -hmm. you have to pay per year you didn't file um and i think it would cost us about 500 dollars to uh reinstate rather than develop mm -hmm. as a new entity so mr chair Yes. Uh, I'm going to use my last meeting as a rookie to say I'm also, I, for two years I've been confused about what Discover Clinton does or how it fits into things. Because I remember in the early 90s we had a Chamber of Commerce here and it's been, you know, there's several iterations of, of um, business and town partnerships. Um, so I feel your pain. And I'd be happy to volunteer if um, the board needs someone to help shepherd this question through. Um, I can work with Mike and, Thank you. and yeah. Discover Clinton. Um, I know it's 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 a shifting stance as far as um, volunteers and funding and things like that, but I think what you guys, especially now, what I'm hearing, um, is something that the town should <coughs> look at embracing. I'm not sure what our full role will be, but I, I'd love to explore it. And if it helps the board, um, I'd be happy to 
spend the summer as a liaison um, sorting this out. Thank you. Awesome. We certainly want to uh, work with you. We want to make you proud. Um, this is not something that we are trying to do um, independently. We really do want to work with the town, and that's why we're here. And we're grateful, and we just really believe in change, and we really believe that we can do that from a grassroots level. And I think that's where it has to come from, because that's where the passion is. And not that you're not passionate, that's well, not I, what I, I see mean, a lot of. <laughs> but you, it's if just you look you at other towns, people. other cities and towns, you see um, landlords and businesses signing up for business improvement districts, where, where they're willing to take on extra tax dollars to. to I mean, Worcester's having people walk the streets and, and point people around. You know, I don't think we have to go that far if people don't want to, but I'm certainly not gonna turn down help if, if yes. people in town wanna help, um, especially since Monday we, you know, voted to put all this money toward making downtown better. If, if the people who actually work there and sell there wanna help um, with the cause, I'm not gonna turn away anybody. There is certainly money to be had, actually, um, right now, the Mass Cultural Council. We qualify for a very amazing scholarship for our uh, grant for downtown renovation because of our walking distance, our green space, and our historical landmarks. Um, there's a lot available, and I know that you have, you're stretched thin, as are most people, so I think the best way to do this is with a lot of people. When is your next meeting? Tuesday at 9 o'clock yes. at the COLA. That's, always, that's always the case, isn't it? I won't be able to make that, but... Um, we can... I'd be happy to meet um, afterwards. I'm the um, president of Discover Clinton, okay. um, and I'd be happy to meet anytime your schedule okay. allows. Right. Same here, well, Sean. I, and def I defer to the board here on this, but I'm happy to help if, if that helps. I would also I will also keep you notified with the uh, conversation in regards to the mass culture. Okay. All, right. All right. Well, I've, I've just conferred with my colleague here, who agrees with me, and I assume everybody else agrees. It's up to me who I, if I want to appoint someone to do this, and it's one of the th few things that make me feel really important. <laughs> it's your last swing, Mr. Chair. It's my get last it, meeting as chairman, so I'm going to appoint uh, hereby appoint Sean to be your liaison with us. Thank you. Um, Thank you I think chair. this is very exciting news. I think Thank that you. Uh, you could be a very great benefit to the town. I think there is probably some way that we can help you. I don't know if we can do it by August 10th, probably not. Uh, we have the Clinton Pops, con the Holiday Pops concert, and we have the old home days that are treated mm -hmm. as town entities. Right, but they are directly town entities, so there would be a whole walk. governance. How did they become? Uh, the. The there is old, a process. Old, yeah, old Home Day was all, always the town yeah, board. It always it was, was under was, the yeah. board selectmen. Um, and the Pops concert uh, was uh, under the uh, Parks and Rec. Well, it wasn't always under the Parks and Rec. Well, they formed their own corporation at one point, but then the Parks and Rec took it back over. Okay. But it would be a governance that the, a town board would have to oversee it. Uh -huh. If they do get any funds, it would have to go mm -hmm. through the, the whole warrant cycle for, for expenditure and taking in a revenue and funds. For the insurance to uh, cover any entity, they would want to see that the town has supervision and control over that okay. program. Well, otherwise, anyways, otherwise the insurance won't, won't get involved. If, if I may, I we can just... help you look into that process okay, yes. and see if you, if yeah. so, you know, and see if you want to go to that process. Um, the other thing is, we do have uh, a, a little fund here in the town that we can make donations. Um, so you should come to us for that. Okay. Right. Once you. Yeah. It was just brought to my attention that the Halloween Walk has operated under Discover Clinton, and it is a similar type event because they closed the street, and yeah. that is under the town insurance. So I'm not sure how that happens, but if we can maybe have something like communicate that. with them and see. <laughs> Work with Michael and Sean and Town Council. Town Council. I'm sure there are many. You know, there are uh, many things going on <laughs> mm. that we have no idea are going on. Um, and so we can probably yeah, get them. But I, I'm not aware of the Halloween walk as being under the town. I don't believe that the was town. what we were. It's not no. carried by any liability insurance no. then. No. Then why would we have to pick up insurance? I guess we can talk about that later. Yeah, uh, well, we don't know. Maybe who told us that it was under? Uh, regarding the closure of the street, I will tell you. I believe that you have to come to us for permission, and I think that has to be a part of the agenda. So we can't do it tonight. Okay. okay. But you've got between now and August 10th to, to okay. do that. Thank you. Okay. Um, 
and Sean, I think, will help you out a lot. Thank and uh, Thank you for your time, Jim, gentlemen. Jim, just yeah. one more thing. One more thing. Yes. Because I, I want to be as encouraging and supportive as I can, and hopefully we can give you exactly what you need, but it won't happen quickly. And the other thing is, I don't know what the construction schedule is for High Street now that the funding's been approved. Um, I, I doubt very much that it will, anything will be again by August. Bid, right? okay. It has to go out to bid. It has to go out to bid. When it's already designed. Well, well the, I think that's yeah, what we the can bid look documents have got to be developed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the bid great. documents, yeah. we've got to approve okay. the so bid documents. Okay, so you don't documents. have to worry about this. <laughs> Probably <laughs> August 10th, the road, 10th, the road will be. Okay. Yeah. And like I mentioned earlier, anything I can do, obviously, behind Thank the scenes. Thank you. I'm and as far as the time, I'm a very persistent woman, so you'll be seeing more of me. Don't worry. <laughs> nice. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Can you share my Thank information you. with her? Sorry, what? Just share my information with her. We'll yes, be in touch I will. Thank you, Sean. Have a great night. Good luck, Thank you for coming in. And thank you for what you're doing for the town. Absolutely. yeah. Thank you. Just what we need, some young people with pizzazz. And I mean, really and truly, <laughs> it just ha occurred to me. This is just what we need, some young people Absolutely. with pizzazz. Absolutely. It's catching fire, Mr. Chair. Huh? It's catching fire. No. Yeah. All aboard. OK, uh, next item on the agenda is review of minutes for May 15th, 2019. What's the pleasure of the board Motion with regard? to approve the minutes as presented, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion is made to approve the minutes for May 15th, 2019 as presented. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. And Aye. opposed, motions carried. Aye. General bond anticipation note renewal. The town treasurer is requesting approval from the Board of Selectmen to renew a bond anticipation note, 1.13 million, that expires 6 14 19. He is recommending rollover, rollover of this borrowing for one year with the lower bidder, Century Bank, at an interest amount of 2.20%. Michael, is there anything else we should know about this? No, uh, no this is basically, it's, uh, it, it's projects for, uh, funding for projects that have been started but not completed. So generally, borrowing authorizations, he likes to do in a, uh, a big uh, issuance. So while the projects are in process, he will just do a ban anticipation note so that our books won't could be in deficit by spending the money. This will then show uh, a, 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 a clean balance on our accounts, but eventually, once these projects are done, they will then go out to permanent borrowing. So he does one year temporary borrowing uh, in order to get to the point of the permanent issuance. And there's a list of the projects uh, in your packet there too. Okay. And there is paperwork if the, if the board approves this, uh, there's paperwork which will need signed that has to go uh, uh, overnight mail tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. So what's the pleasure of the board with regard to the bond anticipation note renewal? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we um, grant the uh, bond, uh, bond note renewal. <coughs> Second. Motion being seconded to approve the bond anticipation note renewal as suggested by the town treasurer. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. And opposed, motion carried. Next item is administrative business, uh, late night closings. The late night closing request for the month of June. Oh, all right, so we don't have to do that. Yeah, that was already done. Okay. Uh, one day liquor license, the veteran of foreign wars, post 523, is requesting a one day liquor license in conjunction with their dedication ceremony that would be held on 623.19. What's the pleasure of the board? Motion to approve. Second. Michael, this is the one about. Uh, That's further down, it's in the overnight, I think. Is yeah, it? For the. Oh, Ms. Yeah. Yeah, right here it's, on the second one. yeah that's uh, right that, that would be in conjunction with their dedication ceremony. Oh, I think the they're going to be doing some outside activities okay. as well too. Yeah. So that would be for the VFW. Yeah. Okay. So um, this. Uh, all right. So we're going to get to this again. Right. So I'll mention it then. All right. Right. Did we vote on that? Uh, we have no. Okay. okay. What's the pleasure of the board with regard to the one-day liquor license? We have a motion on the table. And a second. It, and a second. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? We have a one-day liquor license for Clinton Turn Vereen. He's requesting a one-day liquor license for events to be held at their outdoor pavilion and the permit applications are enclosed. 
What's the pleasure of the board? Motion to approve the applications, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion is made and second to approve the applications. Is there any discussion? There being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? Motion is carried. On to all the new business, uh, federal law enforcement fund transfer. The police chief, the police chief, is requesting approval to transfer ten thousand dollars from the federal law enforcement fund to the state law enforcement fund to be used for evidence and investigation. What's the pleasure of the board? So moved, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion is made and seconded to approve the federal law enforcement fund transfer. Is there any discussion? Being none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion is carried. The Clinton VFW Post 5, number 23, dedication. The selectmen have been asked to provide a proclamation commemorating the dedication of their building in honor of Walter and Ms. O'Malley that will be celebrated on 6-23-19. What's the pleasure of the board? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that uh, the board request the town administrator to prepare the appropriate proclamation and present it to the VFW. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Under discussion, I would like to say that Mr. O'Malley uh, is a longtime member of, member of Clinton Post number 523. He is a veteran of the, he's also been uh, for many years uh, active in Clinton Turn Verine. He once uh, pointedly uh, corrected my pronunciation. I said turn Vereen and it's turn Verine. But I would like to say that Ms. O'Malley is a Marine veteran of World War II. He was a member of the 5th Marine Division, which invaded uh, Iwo Jima. He's a, a veteran of Iwo Jima. And the old saying about Iwo Jima was, uh, I now, now I forget, uncommon val valor was a common virtue. Um, was the per square foot more people were killed on Iwo Jima than any battle in the history of the United States of America. Uh, and I think this dedication for Mr. Ms. O'Malley is very well deserved and I look forward to attending. Any other discussion? Being none, all in favor? Of Aye. Aye. And opposed? Uh, water bill abatement request. Uh, the Board of Selectmen received a request for a water and sewer bill abatement in the amount of $613.61 plus accrued interest from Mr. John Torbay, who owns the property at 678 Main Street in Clinton. Mr. Torbay received an elevated, elevated water bill for that property while it was vacant and did not realize there was a water leak. The leak has been repaired and there is no wa water currently being used on the property but the superintendent of public works is unable to abate this bill because this property received an abatement in the recent past and the current water regulations only allow for a one-time automatic abatement. Mr. Torbay is now petitioning the water commissioners for assistance in this matter. What's the pleasure of the board? M Mr. Chair, if I may, yeah. if, uh, if the board would be willing to maybe table this till the next meeting. Um, I did speak with the superintendent of public works and there was a previous problem now this one and there might be a question about maybe some of the previous bills gone, going to lean and he just wanted to kind of sort out you know how much is actually owed you know what what the actual uh, outstanding amount would be so he just asked if we just had a, a, a little bit of time for him to research <coughs> and then we'll bring it back at the next meeting on the agenda so motion to table this second motion is made and uh, second to table the water bill abatement request of Mr. John Torbay. Is there any discussion on that motion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, opposed, motions passed unanimously. Thank you. Superintendent of Public Works, landfill salary and agreement between the Board of Selectmen and Superintendent of Public Works established, established for management of the landfill capping project requires that the Board of Selectmen each year set the salary of the Superintendent of Public Works to include a stipend of $25,000 for the regular maintenance of the landfill. And another provision of the agreement provides for a bonus of $25,000 to be paid each time in excess of 1.5 million of surplus is transferred from the landfill enterprise fund to the general fund. This bonus payment is now due as a result 
of the transfer of 4.5 million that was done at the annual town meeting. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we reauthorize the terms of the contract with the Superintendent of Public Works. Is there a second? I'll second. second. Motion is made and seconded. Is there any discussion? I would just say that with regard to the results, this contract is a bargain for the town and I'm going to be happy to vote for it. Any other discussion? There being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. The Crystal Club Charity Donation Request. The Crystal Club Charity is requesting donations to support their upcoming fundraising event. This organization provides support to local youth and civic organizations in the Clinton area. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we authorize a donation to the Crystal Club Charity in the amount uh, that we did last year. So I second that. Motion is made and seconded to duplicate the amount to, that we gave last year to Crystal Club Charities. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, opposed, motion's carried. Goals and objectives discussion. Is there any goals and objectives to be discussed this evening? I would just like to say that the downtown decorative streetlight project uh, will be moving forward thanks to the uh, hard work of uh, many people and the uh, vote of town meeting this past Monday. Uh, we'll be meeting in a few weeks to begin talking about, I believe, uh, the actual beginning of the construction phase and uh, uh, beginning to uh, drop the bid documents, etc. <coughs> uh, I don't know if there's there any other goals and objectives? Just, I guess, would fall under goals and objectives. I guess it ties into downtown and, and, and beautification of downtown and the rest of uh, some bridges throughout the uh, town. I just wanted to bring up, and I, I know this board will follow through. I know we got some numbers from uh, our uh, DPW superintendent, um, Chris McGowan, about the uh, you know cleaning of the bridges and, and possibly doing some murals on those bridges and lighting them once we get the LEDs oh, on, okay. on High Street. Um, I think that's uh, essential. Um, I know there was a bid for uh, combining the two bridges, one on, the one on Water Street and the one on High Street. There was a price there. Um, and I, I think those numbers were doable. Um, I believe it was around 200, a little over 200,000 for both of those bridges included, just to clean them. Um, but again, I think it's something that we need to do. Um, I think it will definitely um, create some character on High Street and some conversation. And I also think the other bridges in town on Brook Street and on um, on Main Street will be good enough to get uh, uh, the one on uh, by Fitch uh, or Rigby Road as well. Um, I think we need to clean those up, illuminate them. Um, uh, I know just even during the daytime, some, you go on those bridges, obviously they're dark. So um, I think we need to make it more inviting for, for pedestrians to feel safe to walk through them as well. Okay. Uh, if we're doing, you know, we're going to be cleaning up sidewalks, I think we should make them uh, illuminated as well and tie mm -hmm. the bridges in with that. So All I right. just wanted so to bring that up. We've got the numbers. We'll forward them to yeah. Phil and that uh, the downtown committee. Yeah, I think Chris had gotten some numbers uh, last fall. Uh, right. For the, did? those bridges, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, we yeah. can we get can, them. Yeah, if the committee want to discuss it and see if it's something that would be part of that project or whether mm -hmm. it would be a separate, it's on standalone project. Yeah, I, I think it should, well, I think, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but that little downtown committee sort of is committed to all of the work that needs to be done in the business district. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would say that that should come under the, uh, the, the, the head, it should go to that committee. I'm not saying it should be part of this oh, to project. Be funded, right, right, okay. yep. Yeah, because yep, we yep, haven't right. budgeted it. Right, right. But beginning to plan it and look at it, yeah. I think we should it, do that. Just because last March, I know when I brought Powell in the group <coughs> from, uh, from Worcester, the, the group that does murals, they were very excited about it. They, they still are. Uh, they're very uh, popular and very busy group. Uh, for them to be excited about Clinton and, and to help out, help us out, um, obviously it would be a fee involved. But I mean, if I think we can include the Clinton Public Schools art program mm -hmm. and, and get the uh, kids involved, I think we can turn this into a, uh, a viable community project as well. Beautify them. You know? Okay, I agree, and uh, thank I'm you, looking Mr. Forward Chairman. to talking about it. Any other goals and objectives? Nothing. Any committee reports? Mr. Chair, just under, uh, if Selectman Kerry wants to jump in too, by all means, um, the, uh, we did the cleanup day. Yeah. Uh, 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 Town-wide cleanup day. Uh, 
I forget the date was, I believe, uh, May 18th, 18th of yep. Saturday. Yep. Uh, great turnout. We had, uh, I don't know what the total bag count was. I don't know if we have a number on it, but I know uh, there was a lot of bags of uh, garbage that we did uh, clean up throughout the town of Clinton. Um, it was a very well um, put together group, so I just wanted to thank some people. Obviously, the marketing and communications uh, group, Selectman Kerrigan, all the work he did uh, behind the scenes on it, along with uh, and Jessica Spano, who actually helped out in the event as well, and I believe I'm leaving on another member. Uh, Terry Angano. Terry Angano, yep, and there was and, one other one. Uh, uh, Danielle Ryberg. Danielle Ryberg, um, so thank them too, because they were, uh, did a lot of, a lot of help uh, behind the scenes as well on the committee. So I wanted to thank you guys. I also wanted to thank all the, the you know, the number of high school and middle school age children we had helping out. Uh, a lot of volunteers, too many to thank. I know we had, um, we also had um, a lot of department heads, Selectman Kerr Kerrigan being uh, also uh, helping out and organizing it and, and pitching in along with your family. Uh, for we, sure. Yeah. The town Democratic and Republican yep. committees came out. Yep. Uh, the high school was great. Uh, I also want to thank Justin Lamb, who um, actually got this kicked off last year, who um, did this on his own. He still had a lot of uh, supplies left that he generously donated and um, uh, yeah. yeah, overseeing this for the first time, I was very nervous on Friday night, and it went off. We had perfect weather. Yeah. Uh, it was great, and the people who turned out did a lot of great work, and so hopefully it's the start yeah. of something good. So it was a really good turnout. Like Sean, uh, Selectman Kerrigan mentioned, we had uh, you know, the, the Clinton Republican Committee, and we had the Clinton Democratic Committee. We also had uh, help from the Clinton Rotary Club. They donated all yep. the uh, trash bags, so uh, thank you very much, Clinton Rotary, for that. Um, Clinton DPW helped out at the end, going around picking up all the uh, bags of garbage and applying some, supplying some pick sticks and some extra bags as well. Um, so I wanted to uh, thank them as well as uh, we had some department heads and I, please let me know if I left anyone out. I know we had uh, Council on Aging, uh, Debbie, uh, Debbie Goodsell uh, helped out. She was there. Uh, Dave Baird. Dave Baird, our town assessor and his family were there. Phil Duffy. Phil Duffy, our community economic Mike director. Our, our town administrator, Michael Ward, yeah. was there as well helping out. Um, so we had, and, and yeah, I mentioned earlier, Terry Angana, our former uh, school superintendent, helped out as well. So um, very good uh, turnout by, uh, by a lot of people. So I just wanted to thank them and thank them personally. Thank you, Michael. Good at that. Yeah. Yeah, really it's just a good example of how a little thing can, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, I'm, it doesn't have to be a, a giant home run. It, it can be a little thing on a Saturday morning yeah. that goes a long way. And hopefully people will take yeah. that back to their neighborhoods. You know, these kids are going to learn that, yeah. you know, Taking care of the town takes work, and uh, I was thrilled. We're, yeah. I'm looking forward to doing it again in the fall. It's a community involvement. I don't think you can ever go wrong with volunteering. I think it's uh, very satisfying, very rewarding, especially when it's something tangible and you can see your efforts. Uh, you Absolutely. Know, clean street, it's, it goes a long way. Thank so, you, Mark. Yeah, so thank, thank you, and thank, thank, all the volunteer, uh, thank all the volunteers as well. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I'm sure that the uh, entire board wants to thank you and Mark and uh, all of the volunteers. I unfortunately, well, fortunately, I guess I was at my uh, granddaughter's first communion. There were two excused absences, yes. Yeah. <laughs> was so, I, the other one. Yeah. so I couldn't attend, but uh, I think it's admirable, and I, th I thank you all. Any other committee reports? Mr. Chair, I just wanted to thank the Memorial Day Committee as well. I, I know you guys put on a great event, uh, Memorial Day, a uh, somber occasion, but also I think uh, you guys did a super job, so I just wanted to thank the Memorial Day uh, Committee yourself. I know. Um, uh, Brenny, um, I'm going to see you in a moment. Bailey. Brendan, Brendan Bailey, our and, veteran day server, and Harold, Harold Manaus. Yeah. So I wanted to thank them. Is there anyone else I'm leaving out? No. Nope. Uh, you guys did a super job. So it's a small fun. committee of three, you got a lot done. So very impressive. And I just wanted to thank the committee and, and, and you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Any other committee reports? None there being none, that uh, completes our agenda for the evening. But we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge this. Is, you know, a lot of thanks. If we didn't acknowledge uh, that this is uh, committee member Iacobucci's uh, last meeting with us, he is not seeking re-election. Um, personally, I would like to thank Mark for his years of service and uh, adding to the uh, spirited but reasonable and friendly debate that we engage in here. And uh, he is one of the people that uh, is able to um, defend a position and um, win or lose an argument without rancor. And I think that's very important uh, in any town. And I think Clinton has become famous for it, or should be famous for it, uh, over the years. In particular, I would like to thank Mark for being one of the spearheads 
um, the other being uh, Chris McGowan and Michael Ward on uh, the uh, recycling, the uh, curbside recycling, which I think has been a tremendous asset to the town. And he has worked hard on what he just talked about, the uh, public uh, art project. Uh, the organization that he contacted does a lot of work in Worcester and people who have been in Worcester and seen some of the work that's been done there, it is incredibly um, uh, good and uh, so I would like to thank him. And on behalf of the board and the town, we have a plaque for Marcus Iacobucci in appreciation, in appreciation for your many years of dedicated public service representing the citizens of the town of Clinton. <coughs> board of Selectmen 1999 to 2005 and 2013 to 2019. Thank you very Mark, much, Michael. Thank you. Congratulations thank you, and Mr. thank Chair. you for all your work. Thank you much. And I also have uh, here, and we will be getting it to him, a uh, similar plaque for David Sargent. I'll get that out so I can read the years. Board of Selectmen 2010 to 2019. So that's eight years of dedicated service that David uh, provided. And we uh, thanked him uh, in his last meeting. And I will turn it over to members of the board for anything, <coughs> anything they would like to say. Mr. Chairman, if I may, I want to thank Mark uh, for the years that he's put in on this board, at least most recently, where uh, I got to share uh, in debate with Mark and sometimes in agreement. And I just want to say you're a class act. And thank you, I've Bill. appreciated your contributions, and it's been a pleasure to serve with you. So thank you thank very you much, Mark. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Yes. Yeah, I have to echo. I, obviously, anybody who knows the town knows Mark. and. Um, uh, we've been very lucky to have him uh, as a, a newer member of the board. Um, a lot of people think what happens, what we do is up here, but a lot of it happens uh, off hours with subcommittees and making phone calls and meeting with people. And Mark was, uh, would always pick up the phone. If I had a question about something, or if I wanted to run something by him, or, or pick his brain about something, he was always there for me. And uh, I will owe him for that. Um, as I think the town does for his service, not only on this board, but, but um, on other boards. Uh, he's a great Clintonian, and I wish him nothing but luck in the future. Thank you very much, Sean. I appreciate it. Thank you for thank the board for all your kind words. I really uh, appreciate it. Um, this has been a, um, you know, 12 years serving on the Board of Selectmen uh, on and off. It's been a um, really great uh, distinction to serve, especially with this board. Um, like all of you mentioned before, I mean, um, you know, we're not always going to agree on everything, but that, that's good. I think you need that. and. Um, I'll tell you, um, you know, just looking out there and, and talking to the people in the town, I don't think you could have a more dedicated board of selectmen than you have right here with these three, and hopefully the other two, whoever they are, get elected and have the same uh, uh, vigor and energy uh, as this board, as well as uh, the staff here, you know, Michael Ward and um, as well as uh, Joyce Cobracero. Uh, these guys do a great job every day. Uh, they're grinding it out for the town, so um, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. We always say there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff um, that goes on here. Um, they do uh, a great job. So I just wanted to thank them again and, and town council who's not here tonight. But um, Bobby, Bobby does a great job. Um, he's always here when we, when we, uh, when we need them, when we need him, um, you know, providing any type of uh, legal um, answers we're looking for. So I just wanted to thank Bob out there, uh, working with him for the past uh, six years as well. And, and Mike and, and Joyce, uh, appreciate, appreciate you guys. Thank you. If I, if I could, Mr. Chair, just to thank Selecting Mayor Kabuchi for his service to the town, but more so for the support and help that he's given us. For me, personally, for Joyce, for our office, that you've always been there to help us, being a good friend. I wish you well. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. And just in, in closing before I go, I mean, again, it's just been a great, um, everyone uses those words, honor and privilege, but it truly was um, serving and hopefully, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm going anywhere too soon. I'll be around, like I mentioned to the group here earlier, uh, whatever they need, whatever I can do to help out um, behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, whatever whatever need be to help, uh, you know, help out Clinton, whatever I can do. Um, just won't be up here, but uh, mm -hmm. like I said, whatever I can do. And, and one thing in closing too, before I go, I just wanted to mention, we had talked about a little bit uh, about um, veterans earlier in the, in the, in the, in the we were a great decorated veteran and, and a lot of veterans in, in the town of Clinton. I uh, just wanted to remind people Tomorrow um, is D-Day. I believe it's the 75th anniversary. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. And um, I just think everyone should take a moment tomorrow to think about the sacrifices by our uh, American servicemen and women. Um, I don't think 
uh, a lot of us or some of us wouldn't be here today without their sacrifices. So uh, it was a huge endeavor um, and they succeeded, but a lot of blood was shed and a lot of great people were lost. So I think people should take out time tomorrow and reflect and think about people who sacrificed because they are truly the, uh, the heroes here. And, and, and before I just sign off here and uh, just wanted to thank uh, Chairman Michael uh, Jakonski for his uh, year in, in, in the chairman posi uh, position here. You did a great job, Michael, as always. Um, it was a you know, uh, pleasure uh, working under your leadership as chairman, so you did a great job and you always ran the meetings efficiently, and I appreciate that. You kept them professional. Uh, thank you. So thank you. Thank you for that. And, and again, thank the board. Uh, you guys are great. Okay. Mr. Chair? Yes. Can we give a plug for election day? Um, yes. There are, it's, it's a, it's a, um, uh, there, there are obviously two open seats on this board. There's an open seat on the school committee. Uh, the moderator is up. It's, it's a big year for elections. If, if you can get out and vote, if you can encourage your, encourage your friends, the candidates night is available on YouTube if you missed it. Uh, if you search for um, Clinton candidates night, it should come up on YouTube. Um, if not, I'll put a link up on my website. Um, do, you, do yourself a favor and, and figure out what these candidates are about and, and get out and vote on Monday. It's a really important election um, because two open seats here, school committee, it's, it's rare that this happens. So please go out and do your part. And uh, polls are open Monday from uh, 7, 7 a.m. to 8 till 8 p.m. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday here at the town hall. All right, okay. Well, that concludes our agenda for the evening. I would accept a motion to adjourn. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion is made and seconded to adjourn. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? Aye. The meeting is adjourned. Mark, Aye. good luck to you. Thank Maybe you, we'll have you come in and talk to the uh, committee about uh, Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. I'd really like to go forward. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good thing.